Hi, welcome back to Prompt Profit. Over the past few weeks, we've been using a combination of DIDs, Creative Reality Studio, and the AI video generation platform from HeyGen to produce various animated talking characters. From our experience, both products have their advantages and their disadvantages. In today's video, we'll be reviewing DID, telling you what we like and dislike about the software, and showing you how to get the best out of it. In a future video, we'll do a similar review of HeyGen, and we'll compare between the two. Okay, if that sounds good, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And without further ado, let's get on with the show. I'll start by showing you my preferred way of using DID, that is to create a character image using Midjourney and import it into the DID Studio. Here's a newsreader character I've previously generated. I'm not that keen on the DID voices. I feel they sound a bit robotic when compared with dedicated text to speech platforms like Eleven Labs and Play.ht. But as we're here to review DID, I'll use one of their voices so you can see what you think. I selected Jenny, and as I'm looking for a newsreader voice, I've gone for the newscast style. Let's play the video to see how she looks and sounds. Hi, I'm Jenny. No, not the one from the block. I'm a newsreader character created using Midjourney. My voice is one of the DID voices using the newscast style option. That looks great. The lip sync and head movements look excellent. But as I say, I think the voice sounds rather robotic. Let me know in the comments if you agree or not. One thing I do find annoying with DID is their insistence on including a watermark on all videos produced via their Creative Reality Studio. I accept it's valid on the trial and light plans, where they include the DID logo as you're getting a subsidized version of the software in return for a little self-advertising. But watermarks are also included on the higher level subscriptions. With the pro and advanced plans, it shows the letters AI. And even the enterprise plan has one, although they do allow you to customize it at that level. I appreciate as an AI content generator, they have to be careful about how their technology is used. They do need to take measures against human like avatars potentially being used inappropriately. But I do think their approach is over the top when it comes to content that is clearly not intended to represent a real person. I therefore prefer not to have it included. There, that looks better. If you'd rather not have the watermark included, you can either use an alternative software such as HeyGen to produce your animated character videos, or if you stick around until later in the video, I'll show you how you can remove it using editing software. If you don't have a subscription to Midjourney, you can generate a character image within the DID Studio. It's not something I've done before, so I'll start by pasting the same prompt I used to create the newsreader and see what that gives us. None of those look like what I had in mind, so let's hit generate again to see if we can do any better. The first two aren't looking at the camera and the fourth one looks cross-eyed, but the third one looks more like what I'm after, so I'll add her to my presenter gallery. I've created some text for my new character to say, and I've chosen another one of the DID voices. The Nancy voice doesn't come with a newscast style option. So I've selected a friendly style. Let's listen to how that sounds. Hi. I'm a newsreader character created using the Generate AI Presenter feature of DID. That sounds okay, so I'll click on Generate Video. The length of the video is going to be 16 seconds. The way in which DID charges the credits is one credit for every 15 seconds. With any additional time, round it up to the next 15. It has therefore been rounded up to 30 seconds and will cost two credits. I'll therefore remove a bit of the text to bring it down to under 15 seconds. That's better. It's only going to cost one credit now. So I'll hit generate. Here's how the video looks. Hi. I'm a newsreader character created using the Generate AI Presenter feature of DID. My voice is that of Nancy. You get charged a credit whether you use the created presenter or not. She looks and sounds fine but I'm not sure I used the prompt to its fullest extent. So let's generate a presenter using one of the DID recommended prompts and see what that gives us. Image 2 provides the best close-up for us to view the lip syncing. So I'll add her as an avatar. I'll select one of the more standard voices that doesn't have any style option, so you can hear how that sounds. Again, I'll click on Generate Video and we can see how she looks. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. I am a lawyer created using a suggested prompt from the Generate AI Presenter feature of DID. My voice doesn't have any style options. Some voices do, others do not. If you don't wish to import or create your own avatar, you can use one of their standard or premium presenters. Premium presenters are denoted with the HQ icon and have the advantage of additional body and hand movements. This can provide a more lifelike feel. To demonstrate how they look, I'll select the voice of Tony with a cheerful style. Hi, I'm one of the high quality presenters available with pro level plan and above. They can be rendered in wide, square, or vertical formats. And you can change the color of the background. 
I think this blue looks good. Hi, I'm one of the high quality presenters available with pro level plan and above. My voice is that of Tony, with a cheerful style. Being a premium presenter, I can be expressive with my hands. Standard presenters work in a similar way to that when you create your own. Hi, I'm one of the standard presenters available with the light plan. My voice is that of Eric, which doesn't have any style options available. Personally, I think I sound pretty robotic. You can get DID to create a script for your character using their AI text generator. Here I type in the first sentence and ask the software to continue the text. Hi, here are two great ways to make money online through affiliate marketing. The first way is to create a blog and become an affiliate marketer. When people click on the links in your blog post and buy the products you recommended, you make money. This is a great way to start making money online and it's free to get started. The second way is to become an affiliate marketer for a company that sells products online. When people click on the links in your blog post and buy the products the company sells, you make money. This is a more complex way to make money online, but it can be very lucrative if you are successful. I don't know about you, but those two ways both sounded very similar to me. I wouldn't recommend using this feature without going through and manually editing the text. Seems like this is a bit of a gimmicky option. Chat GPT provides far superior content, so if you're looking to automate your scripts, I'd look at using that instead. DID offers several different plan options, starting with the free trial, which lasts for 14 days. It allows you to generate five minutes of video, and you can try out both premium and standard presenters. You receive 15 credits for generating your own AI presenters. Any videos you create will include the DID watermark on them. The light version costs $5.99 per month and provides 10 minutes of video generation. Again, they will have the DID watermark, and you'll only be able to have standard presenters. You receive 100 credits for generating AI presenters. Next up, we have the Pro Plan, which is $49.99 a month for 20 minutes of video. If you pay annually, it works out at $39.99 a month. Videos generated won't have the DID logo, but they will still include an AI watermark. You get both premium and standard presenters and 200 AI presenter prompts. This version also allows you commercial use of any videos created. The advanced subscription will set you back $299.99 a month, which reduces to $249.99 if you pay annually. You receive 125 minutes of video generation and 1,200 presenter prompts. Again, you will have both premium and standard presenters and have commercial use for the videos, although they will still carry the AI watermark. This level also includes a PowerPoint plugin. I have not looked to see what that's all about. If you don't want the AI watermark, you'll need to go for the enterprise plan, which allows you to customize it. There's no details on their site as to how much the enterprise plan costs. So if that's an option you're interested in, you'll need to speak to them to customize the plan. Since recording the earlier part of this video, DID have announced that users who are subscribed to their pro, advanced, and enterprise plans will now have access to presenter voices powered by 11 labs. Unfortunately, my paid subscription had come to an end before this was introduced. So I've not been able to try the voices out. But it's a great move on their part, as the 11 labs voices sound far superior and it makes the pro plan a much more enticing option than it was previously. When importing your own generated presenter characters, it can be a bit hit and miss as to what works with the Creative Reality Studio. So let's import a few characters I've created and see what works and what doesn't. Let us start with this cartoon style guy. That's good, he imported successfully. How about this image of a monkey? Uh, DID could not identify any faces in the uploaded photo. That doesn't surprise me as I've not managed to import any animal-like characters, not even if I give them a human-like image. That's fair enough. It's obviously not what the software is intended for. Next, let's try this cartoon baker. That one went through OK. Let's try a few more. They all imported fine, but when I tried to generate a video using this character, the generation failed. So the fact that it's able to import a character isn't a guarantee it will be able to do the lip sync. I did a reroll on the prompt within mid journey, and it came up with this little chap as an alternative. I was able to import him and generate a video. Okay, let's see how we get on generating videos for the rest of the characters we imported. I used ChatGPT to come up with a script for each of them to say. I then converted the text to speech using some of the voices from Play.ht. Welcome to my sweet world. I'm the Cake Maestro whipping up. It doesn't seem keen on our Lady Baker. Let's try a different one. No, it's not keen on her either. Let's give it one more try. Great, we got there with that one. Now let's try our alien. As you can see, I tried generating a number of alien characters within mid-journey, trying to get one that would work. They all had pointed chins and DID failed to recognize their facial features. In the end, I supplied mid-journey with an image to work from. 
Two of the images it generated ended up with weird-looking claw hands, but I thought image number two looked good. None of the play.ht voices really suited the alien, but I generated one and modified it in Audacity to get a desired effect. Here's the videos of the other characters so you can see what worked well and what not so good. I'm a soon-to-be dad, overflowing with joy and anticipation, ready to embrace this new chapter. I'll be the rock, the protector, and the ultimate cheerleader. I'm ready for a journey of love and endless adventure. This one came out with the animation looking a bit distorted around the ears, and I feel the mouth looks a bit blurred. Hi, I'm Lily. I love reading adventure books and solving mysteries. My superpower. Curiosity. I'm always up for exploring and making friends. Watch out world because this girl's got big dreams and an even bigger imagination. I like Lily. In general, I think DID handled her hair well, all apart from the loose bit at the top that fell outside the square they animate and therefore didn't move around with the rest of the head. If I was going to use her character in a video, I'd edit the image beforehand to remove that bit of hair and also the tip that hangs down above her right shoulder. Hey, I'm Max, Master of Mischief. Pranks? Oh yeah, that's my specialty. But don't worry, I always bring laughter wherever I go. So buckle up, cause with me around, life's never boring. I think Max looks really cool. You may have seen I've already used him at the end of some previous videos. He has a similar issue with the top bits of hair not getting animated, so again I'd remove those before using him in a video. Greetings, I am the ancient merchant, wise in the ways of trade, counting my wealth, coin by coin as my stories unfold. Step into my world and let the spirit of commerce guide you to riches untold. The ancient merchant looks good. I think these type of images work really well with the animation. Hey there, I'm Emily, fueled by dreams and boundless ambition. I'm ready to conquer the world. With passion as my compass and determination as my fuel, I'm reaching for the stars. Watch me soar as I turn aspirations into achievements. Again, I love the animation with Emily. It's able to distinguish the strands of her hair really well, and the lip syncing is excellent. Welcome to my sweet world. I'm the cake maestro whipping up delicious dreams with a sprinkle of love. From towering creations to mouth-watering treats, I'll bake your wildest cravings into reality. So get ready to indulge in a slice of pure happiness. I like the lip sync animation, but the height of her hat is causing problems. If I bring in a green screen version of the video, you can just about see the size of the area that gets animated by the software. Anything outside of that area will not move as part of the head. I had a similar issue with the character that was wearing headphones, and they were outside of the animation box to the sides. It's certainly something to bear in mind with any character heads you create. Here's a list of their guideline for selecting the best image for animation. Before I finish up, I'll quickly show you a couple of ways in which you can remove the AI watermark. Please bear in mind, though, that doing so without their approval is against their end user license agreement. For both techniques I'll show you using Camtasia, but you should be able to do something similar using any video editing software. If you've imported a full screen image for animation, as we did with our newsreader, pull the generated MP3 file onto your timeline. Then import the original image that you used to create the animation and pull that onto the track above. You can then crop that image down to just cover the bottom left hand corner of the screen and drag it to cover the entire length of the MP3 file. Hi, I'm Jenny. No, not the one from the block. The second technique works if you've created a green background to your character to use the green screen technique we demonstrated in a previous video. I'll show you how to do it using the alien character. When creating the green background, you should ensure there is space either side of your character. This will ensure the watermark doesn't cover any important aspects. Then crop both sides of the image and drag the remove a color effect onto the character. Greetings, please don't be afraid, I come in peace. Although I may look a bit scary, I mean you no harm. I have traveled many light years to reach your planet. Overall, I like the product. It's easy to use, and the animated characters look great. Personally, I think in their current format, the Generate AI Presenter and the AI Script Generator are a waste of time, as you can get much better results using other free software. My biggest reason for not using the software is their insistence of putting a watermark on all videos. If anyone was trying to fool someone into thinking their AI characters were real, they'd very easily be able to remove the watermark, so why ruin everyone else's videos by including it? I do think the pro plan is expensive, although they have improved things recently by providing 20 minutes per month, where it used to only be 15, and inclusion of the 11 labs voices is a big step up. However, I'd still want to construct the audio files externally, as I'd want to use the same voice across the entire video, not just the aspects that feature the animated character. 
If you pay monthly, the pro plan works out at $2.50 per minute, which reduces to $2 a minute if you pay annually. That does work out expensive if you want the animated character talking throughout the entire video, but not as bad if you just feature the character here and there. Are you still watching? Wow, you must have enjoyed the video. In that case why not hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel, as we've got loads more planned, and the more people who subscribe the more pocket money I get. You can also check out these other great videos we created.